Have you fled from the war in Ukraine and just arrived in Norway? This film is going to tell you what happens here when you apply for collective protection. It is important to know about UDI, or the Norwegian Directorate of Immigration, as it is actually called. UDI is responsible for the processes you will be going through, and UDI decides if you have the right to collective protection. The first thing you should do is to go to the National Arrivals Centre. This centre is where most of those who are seeking protection spend their first few days in Norway. If you enter Norway some other place, you can contact the local police there. But often, you will end up needing to travel on to the National Arrivals Centre anyway. The centre provides a safe place for you to stay. You will be given food and drink. And you will get a bed to sleep in. You will be doing many practical things the first days. But there will also be a lot of waiting. The first activity is registering with the police. The police will ask you for ID documentation. If you don't have any identity documents, things will take longer because the police will have to spend more time investigating and such. It is important to know that lying or withholding important information from the Norwegian authorities is a criminal offence. The police will record your fingerprints and take a photo of you. The police will use this information to register your application for collective protection. There are rules for who is allowed to get this type of temporary residence permit. The police do not make the decision on your application. UDI does that. You can trust the Norwegian police. They will treat you with respect and speak with you in a safe environment. During your conversation with the police, an interpreter who speaks both Norwegian and your language will also be present. Everyone who applies for protection in Norway must also be tested for tuberculosis. Many of you will need to have x-rays taken of your upper body as part of the examination. This is also done at the Arrivals Centre. If you become ill, you can speak with a doctor or a nurse. You will receive information from an independent, neutral organisation that will tell you what rights and obligations you have. This will take place as a discussion in a group together with others who have also applied for collective protection. After you have completed everything you need to do at the Arrival Centre, you will move to a different Asylum Reception Centre, where you'll stay while waiting for a decision on your application. The Asylum Reception Centre is a safe place to be and you will be given some money while staying there. There are a number of rules to follow at the reception center and it's important that you do so. You don't have to stay at a reception center. That's your decision. But if you choose to live somewhere else and not at the centre, 
it is important that you become acquainted with the relevant rules. When a decision on your application has been reached, UDI will notify you via your digital mailbox. If you don't have a digital mailbox, you will receive your answer by post. If you change your address, it is important that you tell the police about it. If you don't live at an asylum reception center, you need to remember to put your name on your letterbox. If you are granted collective protection, you will later find out which municipality you will be moving to. The staff at the reception center will give you this information. But the staff doesn't decide where you're going to live. That decision is made by IMDI, that is, the Directorate of Integration and Diversity. It is your decision whether or not you want to live in the municipality that has been chosen for you. But if you decide to live somewhere else, you will have to manage on your own. If you do move to the municipality IMDI picked for you, you will have certain rights, but you will also have a few obligations to fulfill. Someone from the municipality will help you to get started, and you will learn a lot about Norway. If you have any other questions, you can find more information on the following websites.